In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May God the Father bless us. May God the Son heal us. May God the Holy Spirit enlighten us. Give us eyes to see with. Ears to hear with. And hands to do the work of God. May he give us feet to walk with. And a mouth to preach his words of love and salvation. May the angel of peace watch over us. And lead us at last by our Lord's gifts to his eternal kingdom. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome Crusaders, I'm Elizabeth Petruso. And I'm Cam Peters, coming to you with Crusader Nation News. We'd like to start off by congratulating the tennis and track teams for their hard work at districts this past Saturday. Track has four athletes who qualified for sectionals. Emily Murat in the 100 and 200 meter dash, Will Nicholson in the 1600 meter, Tyler Merzenich in javelin, and Jack McCormick in the 100 meter dash. Tennis was also successful in spite of the weather. The team qualified for sectionals will be playing next Saturday at MICDS. While on the individual side, Tim Bleckley and Nate Haugenstein made it to sectionals and doubles, while Josh Miller and Derek Fesser made it for singles. Those four played this afternoon against MICDS. Great job, everyone! We'd also like to congratulate the boys' golf team for a great season and a special shout-out to Joey Fuge, Bryce Kelly, and Kyle Kelly for advancing on a state championship. They had a great start yesterday and will finish off the competition today in Columbia. Baseball will also start the pursuit of state today at 3.30 at Winfield in district semifinals. Wish them good luck if you see them in the halls. Along with baseball, the girls varsity soccer team plays in the first round of districts against Fort Sumal East at 5 p.m. Make sure you come on out to East to support our athletes and watch them continue to fight in the district final Thursday at 6 p.m. Also today, lacrosse is moving on to the postseason right here at our own grass fields at 415. We wish them the best of luck as they fight through the competition. The boys varsity volleyball team lost a tough match against Afton. We would like to congratulate them on a great season. But while spring sports are coming to a close, we can't forget about the fall sports who will begin summer training soon. If you're going to be a junior playing a fall sport, make sure you take your impact test. You can take the test tomorrow from 3.30 to 5 p.m. as well as on June 4th and June 17th. With all this sports talk, we can't forget about our performing arts. The band and choir performed in Cincinnati this past weekend, coming home with three superiors. Chamber choir got third, and jazz and concert band got first in their division and overall. We'd also like to give a huge shout out to Quint Golson for winning Outstanding Soloist and to Maria Klassen for receiving Outstanding Student Accompanist. Congratulations on a job well done. Speaking of the performing arts, the Palace Banquet is this Thursday at the Christie from 6 to 9 p.m. If you're attending, make sure you wear your Sunday best and celebrate a year of great performances. Lastly, graduation is tomorrow night in St. Joseph's in Cottleville at 7. We would like to wish our seniors good luck as they wrap up their high school days and head into the new chapter of their lives. Finally, I'm Elizabeth Petruso. And I'm Cam Peters. Signing, signing off. off.